the picture I chose, the skinless picture with the bed and the hair clips, it gave me like, like, you know, like, how do I put it? You know, like when you're trying to hide something from your mom and then she go into the cleaning your room and then she find it anyway? That's what it gave me. It gave me like a hidden detail that Cunningham was like missing, like, to be honest, because in my personal opinion, like that picture was like, oh, you're caught red handed doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. I think the one that stood out the most to me was, besides besides the one with the guy with the hand on his face, I think the one that stood out the most to me was the one, I believe she was like in the mirror, and kind of the picture what it was showing was, it was kind of showing like a reflection. I believe well, what I got from it was, it was like a reflection of her life. It kind of looked like she was standing in a room that was pretty messed up. It was like knocked over lamps. It looked like there was stuff torn down and she looked very calm and she was just taking a picture in the mirror and what I really got from the picture was that her life was kind of like, I felt like she was going through it and she kind of just kind of took the picture to kind of show what she was going through without really showing what she was going through. She kind of just showed what her environment was looking like and I felt like through doing that, she was kind of explaining that her life was not going how she wanted to or she was in distress. But besides the other picture, yeah, that was the one that I was interested in the most because I felt like it had the most hidden meaning to it. attention most at the museum was the House of Mirrors at the carnival when she was with her grandkids and in the picture the arm her grandson's arm was like really extended because the mirrors kind of like layered it and had like a little cool pattern going on and then the contrast of the lighting the background was like really dark so any of the lights that were you know in the area or in the reflection of the mirrors it was really popping and I thought that was really pretty. Definitely go check out the museum. I was gonna say, yeah, it's pretty dope. You'll probably it'll, like it, even if you don't think you will. It'll be a great experience. Even if you're not an artist, you don't know much, it'll still be a great experience. It's, it's a dope, it's a dope vibe. It's an experience.